friend. That we should meet means that fate has surely smiled upon you. Oh, I have an excellent business proposition for you. <laughs> if I could just have a moment of your time. Why do you merchant types always sound so suspicious? Oh, come now, don't be like that. The integrity of a Lua merchant is as steadfast as the Geo Archon themselves. Oh, it's simple. Every day you find me some basic items and trade them in here for a box full of exciting little curios. Oh, even the worst boxes have precious metals inside them, in the form of Mora cast at the Golden House, no less. Oh, my business model is a little too complex to explain right now, but if I have your consistent support in this business deal, then perhaps I will consider letting you in on how it works one day. <laughs> so, what do you think, hmm? Interested? I see you've willingly returned. That must mean you trust me, even if only a little. Hyman's heard of scams that start like this, though. They rope you in with all the benefits in the beginning, so you let your guard down, and that's when they get you. <laughs> Please. I don't rely on scams to make my mora. I rely on my keen sense of business trends. That's not bad. Mm, I was once a merchant of curios. Why curios, you ask? Well, because logically speaking, the rarer something is, the more expensive it is. Well, Paimon's super rare. There's only one in all of Tevat. So, uh, where's the Mora? <laughs> <laughs> Something big is about to happen to our world. And what do you think is going to become scarce once that happens, hmm? That's not bad. Thank you. 
was I telling you about yesterday? Ah, yes, supply and demand. You should know, because of Mondstadt's storm terror attacks, orchard production was affected and stocks are low. As such, we can expect the price of Mondstadt's wines and ciders to go sky high, all across to that. Yeah, we know a thing or two about the storm terror issue. So let's see how well you can put two and two together. Tell me, why am I swapping out my curios for basic household items, hmm? Because... the whole world is about to be destroyed? <laughs> Youth is ephemeral. What was I mentioning yesterday? Ah, yes. Okay, so let's say the world really was on the brink of destruction. How would you even know that anyway? That is one of a merchant's other talents. Oh, not only must we read the market and act accordingly, so too must we have our connections. I happen to be in the know about some very top secret intel. Intel, which has come from none other than the economic authority that is the Chi Sing themselves. Need to get something from A to B. Keeping this crane secure is crucial. Need to get something from A to B. Oh, no, 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 this isn't right. The word about the rift between the Chising and the Fatui should be out by now. Consider that maybe this secret intel of yours is being leaked to you on purpose? <sighs> you mean this is a ploy by the Qixing to control small and medium business owners? Based on our interactions with others, it seems like you're the only one getting duped. I... I've been scammed by Ningguang? Uh, well, integrity is the cornerstone of being a merchant, so I won't go back on my word, but... Oh, but this is terrible. Well, don't give up. you still got a long life to lead. Oh, you're right. My heart wasn't in the right place. How could the Qi Sing ever turn their backs on the people of Liu in order to make a profit? Those everyday items are a necessity for the people to just get by. No one should attempt to corner the market like that. And I shouldn't have allowed myself to go along with it. Friend, you have seen with your own eyes my very rise and fall. Let my mistakes be a lesson for you. Ah... <sighs> I'm going to need some time to myself to think about what's happened. Business will at least continue to go on, but in the immediate sense, that doesn't help me a whole lot. <laughs> 